What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us on our special edition episode for SummerSlam. This is our predictions. It's not really special anymore since they do so many damn pay-per-views now. Yeah. It's every two weeks, special edition. Well, I mean, it's a special episode. Well, in SummerSlam. You're special. Ed. I'm Chubbs. I'm Ed. <laughs> I'm Ch- Cheddarfield. That's one take. Oh. And uh, flanking me <laughs> on my flank. I need to start doing that. <laughs> I'm going to do that for our uh, actual podcast. Yeah, you won't remember. I'll remember. I'm going to yeah, write it down. Sure uh, so SummerSlam is... Today, when you're listening today, to this. Today, as you're listening to this, yeah. Uh, 13 matches on the card. Uh, three on the pre-show. I was going to say counting, yeah, pre-show. One of which probably that shouldn't be. Because there's another match that should be instead. So we only know the pre-show as, and the main event as far as order. Well, do we know the main event is the order? It's Fatal 4 is the main event. It is? So yeah. two years in a row, they're going to cap it off with a Raw title. Well, and who's in that match it should be? It should be, but... So they'll have... Sh- are they going to... The question is, are they going to have Shinsuke and Jinder before that, or are they going to have an in-between filler match? One of the, they'll probably have the SmackDown women's tag. Oh, they better not have it that late. <laughs> I can see it now. I can see it now. They're going to uh, have some weird impromptu match again, the filler. And, and I forgot, a couple weeks ago I said if something were to happen, I was just going to shut it off and not watch. I don't remember what it was either. I'm hoping I remember if it happens. Because I said get prepared to shut it off because it's whatever it was you said I figured was going to happen, but I don't remember now. Had to do with the women's match, didn't it? Did it? I don't remember. Oh, was it if Natalia wins? No. No? All right. Well, uh, so I'm just going to go over the card real quick, and then we'll go. We'll go. <laughs> uh, pre-show matches include Tozawa versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, the New Day versus the Usos for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Championship? It's the one championship. Two belts. Right, but like it, it's... It's a championship. I yeah. guess. I mean, it's a pair of pants. It's a championship. I hate that. Yeah. It's a pant. You don't have two. Uh, why is it a pair? Right. It's only one. Exactly. Uh, Anyway, (laughs) Jason Jordan and the Hardys versus Miz and and the Taraj. I'm just going to say Miz Taraj. I like Miz and the Taraj just because it's funny to me. I mean, that yeah, that works. It's definitely... I don't know. I felt like that needed to happen. It didn't. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) And then, uh, so that's the pre-show. So moving on to the main card, uh, in no particular order, uh, Alexa vs. Sasha for the Raw Women's title, Uh, Naomi vs. Natalya for the SmackDown Women's title, Bray vs. Demon Finn, that's important, John Cena vs. Baron Corbin, Uh, Sheamus and Cesaro vs. Dean and Seth, Dean Ambrose, Seth, Dean, Ambrose, Seth Rollins. I almost got their names backwards. <laughs> For was, the Raw Tag Team Championship. Yeah, I wanted to say Dean Rollins and Seth Ambrose. I, I see that. Uh, Rusev versus Orton for no championship. <laughs> AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. We have Big Show versus Big Cass with Enzo Amore suspended above the ring in a shark cage because we haven't seen that two other times this year uh jinder mahal versus shinsuke nakamura for the wwe championship and then brock lesnar versus braun Strowman versus samoa joe versus roman reigns in a first ever fatal (laughs) four-way at SummerSlam for the universal title yeah cole Michael Cole, baby. I mean, what's the? Do we really need to hype that it's a first time ever Fatal Four Way for the tub, for the championship? Yeah. Who cares? I like to, I like to do that. Sort of like when they'll say, 
two people that are having a match against each other the first time ever, but it's just the first time in WWE. Right. Sometimes it is the first time ever, but... Not a lot of the time. More often than not, it's not. So, Tozawa versus Neville. <sighs> is it weird that I'm, like, kind of up in the air with this one? Yes. Like, I feel like they're not going to give Tozawa the belt and just have him have it for a week. But in the same, I feel like they, like Neville was so great as the champ, but him chasing it might be. Like, if he loses, how do they continue the feud? They don't. But they should. Unless they decide to put Neville back on main opposed to the cruiserweights, which is a unless bad he idea. Just, unless he just decides to rip through the cruiserweight division, proving that he is the only one deserving of the title. Which he is. I'm going to pick Tazawa simply on the Titus brand being pushed and why them giving it to him just for a week would be lame to me. I agree. Uh, I have Tozawa as well. Jason Jordan and the Hardy Boys versus Miz and the Taraj. It's gonna be Jason Jordan and the Hardys. Alright, we are in agreement there. This is not looking good for us. We're gonna go 1-12. <laughs> uh, let's see. Order, so I'll try to go finish up the pre-show. New Day versus the Usos. I this is this is the only one that I am having trouble picking. It's not the only one I'm having. It's one of 3. The problem is is if New Day wins, that's the end of the feud. Right. And then who else are they going to feud with? Because the tag division in SmackDown is crap. Right. And the shakeup may not even happen till around Survivor Series. Right. So unless they're going to bring somebody up from NXT. If they do, it's going to be somebody that feuds with Brazango. That's, that's my point. Like, this feud, for the sake of, of the tag team division, needs to continue. Yeah. I mean, they can find ways without having the Usos win. Yeah, so like big uh, Kofi interferes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. It ends up not being what's deemed a honorable, clean win or whatnot. Right. So they end up having a rematch or something. I'm gonna go with a new day, okay. even though I don't. I I don't. I didn't think the New Day should even have the belts, and they should they should be the ones facing the champion Usos at SummerSlam. Yes, I agree. Uh, and I mean, also, even though it was against Kofi and Xavier, not Big E and Xavier, the Usos won on SmackDown. Right. I'm going with the Usos. Smart choice. Because. It's the easiest way for them to continue this feud. Yeah. And this feud needs to continue because there's nothing else. Yeah, just based on there's literally nothing else. Like, right. It's the equivalent of making Finn Balor be the demon already. There's nowhere else to go. Uh, so I'm going with the Usos. Well, you're right. I'm still going to go. We'll be different, so one of us will get it right. Sasha or Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. I picked somebody. I don't want to influence your choice. Like that works. Well, sometimes you say you'll say I, I'm going to pick so and so just to be different. Yeah, that's true. I don't want you to do that. I don't. It, for me, it depends on knowing what Bailey's interaction with this match is going to be. Or if it is. Like, could she end up helping Sasha win it, and then that's what's going to end up having a feud with her and Sasha, which turns Sasha heel. If they didn't have so many heels already, I would say it'd just be a double where they both go heel, and they, they're the friends where the heel friends now, and then Alexa goes face. But I don't know how well received Alexa would be as a face. Yeah. I mean, she's cool as as F in real life and down to earth and whatnot, but she's so good as a heel. Agreed. 
And the other part of me is, is the only reason that Sasha's in this match is because Bailey did get hurt. Right. So maybe Alexa wins and then holds off for a feud with Bailey. And what if Bailey accidentally costs Sasha the match? I'm going what? with Alexa. Okay. Either way. Uh, I went with Sasha. I'm going with Sasha. I what if I, my thought process of this is. <laughs> Sasha wins the belt. Well, my other thought, also, not to interrupt you, was that Sasha won not only... I know it wasn't against Alexa. Right. But she stood strong against not Nia and in her hometown. Right. So WWE's going to be like, we can't... We've already what done if too much. Sasha wins, and then she would go and, and eventually uh, beat Alexa again in the rematch... Then Bailey comes back saying, I'm so glad you got the belt. You're my best friend. Let's tear down the house and let's have a title match together. Mm -hmm. And that's when Sasha turns heel and says, no. You don't deserve it. You've been out injured. You need to earn your way back up here. Or they end up having a more than one match. Like they have a non-championship match and just... Like, maybe they have two or three matches leading up to what the actual championship match is, and each one, uh, Sasha starts doing more and more heel-like things. Like, gets herself disqualified. Or grabbing tights, or, you know, pushing the five count on the ropes. Yeah. Okay. No, I agree. You're, you're, you're pr e either scenario works in my head. Yeah. You're no, probably going to be right. Um, but I'm yeah, because my, my pay-per-view prediction history is so great. You need, to, you need to start listening to my... Well, they could. <laughs> uh, Naomi versus Natalia for the... Uh, Naomi, I'm done. Okay. Uh, I as well <laughs> pick Naomi. Because, oh, and I meant to mention it on the rumors. I mean, if, if Carmella does cash in, which I still don't think they should do, with it being the first ever, it should not... It should be done at, at WrestleMania. The oh. latest rumor on the women's SmackDown <laughs> Women's Championship is that Naomi's... Naomi's going to hold it through the year. Is going to hold it through the year. Yeah probably into wrestlemania yeah uh and yes it makes the most sense for carmella to cash in at mania and i'm also picking naomi because i feel like wwe has been doing too much to point out that carmella has the ch the, the the briefcase yeah and plus they're still trying to push the the glow belt yeah the led belt which yeah. isn't yet available in stores yeah and it's supposed to be soon right um, and I'm also saying it because they had, so some of the, some of the, um, WWE superstars, they went to, well, they went to the Met Stadium, but they also went to Yankee Stadium and they had a thing with Carmella and she was basically said that she was going to be cashing it in on Sunday. So they're doing too much to say that she's going to. So I don't think she's going to. Yeah. If she does, it's because Natalia won. Yes. I agree. Um, but I picked Naomi. Bray yeah. versus Demon Finn. Demon Finn. We are in agreement there because it makes no sense to have Demon Finn lose. And on the anniversary of last time he used it. Right. Where he's trying to redeem himself for a win. <laughs> in a mid-card feud. Uh, John Cena versus Baron Corbin. Can I go out on a limb here? Yes. And say this match doesn't even happen? You don't think the match happens? I want to... Part of me think the way that Baron lost and he's blaming Cena, it would totally be in Baron's character just to attack Cena and the match never happens. A la Roman Reigns, Rusev, that one pay-per-view where he just came out and speared him and beat the crap out of him before the match started and then it didn't start. Okay. Part of me says that would fit Baron. Another part of me goes, would Cena really let that, like, like do that? Because it's a pay-per-view. And it's Cena. You know what I mean? I could see it where, if earlier in the show, Cena was attacked backstage. Yeah. And then made it a point of, I'm, st I'm gonna fight in this match. Yeah. Let's make it a no DQ. And also, Cena is going to, he's scheduled for... For Raw Monday. Um, Not that yeah. winning or losing matters, but if... Sort of does. Huh? Sort of does. 
Well, I just not. I mean, it doesn't matter as far as like if he wins or loses, because this is their first match in the feud, right? Yeah. But it, so if if somebody wins, if either one of them wins, does it end the feud? Like if Baron That's what wins, I'm saying. does the feud end? Because Baron's the one with the problem. Yeah. So if he wins, he's vindicated and justified and everything. And feud over. Feud over. If Cena wins, Baron's still... Still pissed off, feud continues. But then Cena leaves for Raw, and then Baron's even more upset and just destroys more stuff. Same. Or he's kept off TV for a while because the rumors are that he's receiving some heat backstage. I don't... If yeah, it, I'm I'm changing my pick. If it wasn't Baron, and like I said, if he wasn't so pissed off that he feel that he feels like Cena cost him the match, yeah, it's totally his character to just attack and beat the crap out of Cena, and no match even happens. I can agree with that. However, if there is a match to be had, who would you pick to win? I really wish I knew more about what Cena thought about Baron in real life. (laughs) Right. Because that would deter or determine whether or not he'd be like, hey, I'll I'll put him over. Opposed to what has he done to deserve it. True. True. So... Do you want Jeopardy music? I'll take no for shut up. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was wrong. How much did you wager? <laughs> Part of me feels like they, they're like, all right, we're going to take the money in the bank away from you. That's your punishment. They're not going to punish him again by having him lose. Baron, that is. I think if it wasn't against Cena, I'd have an easier time. Based on what I'm doing for a later match, that's kind of the same thought process. I'm going with Cena. All right. I changed from Cena to Baron. You're welcome. During our conversation. I Uh, really think... I'm just... If it wasn't Cena, I'd be... It's Baron. If Cena had lost the flag match at Battleground, I probably wouldn't have changed my mind. Same. That was in my head, too. But given that he's already won his return pay-per-view match... If you know he's good. I'm I'm switching. I'm going to Baron. Okay. Just because a with with. Then I'm switching too. No. I'm d- if if you didn't say that Cena winning and then Baron being pissed and then Cena being gone because he's going to Raw and then Baron being more pissed, I would have just gone with Baron anyways. Because I was like that kind of makes even more sense. It does. All right. So we both say Baron. Um. Sheamus and Cesaro versus Dean and Seth for the Dean Raw Tag Team titles. We are in agreement there. Rusev versus Randy Orton. I'm picking Orton for one reason. He's lost four straight pay-per-view matches. They were all for the title, weren't they? Maybe. Four straight or three straight? Uh, I heard four. Because he fought... He lost a gender twice. Background or battleground in the Punjabi prison, Money in the Bank was a rematch against Gender, mm-hmm. and he lost the title to Gender. Mm-hmm. So that's three. So this will be four. This would be four if he were to lose. So maybe, maybe you did read four, and it was a misprint, and he's set to lose. <laughs> If they were doing more with Rusev, I'd pick him because, I mean, he just came back, so he should win. My other thought is that if he had won the flag match at Battleground, uh, it'd be more apt for him to lose this one. Did I? I don't see him losing to Cena and then to Orton because that's officially buried. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to go with Rusev. I'm going to switch it. My bad. I'm going to see how many times I get you scratch out my answer. I'll just scratch them all out anyway. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't even write anything. Just scratch. 
Uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. It's going to be AJ Styles that retains one way or another. Yes. And it's going to be a funky finish. When I say funky, it's either going to be where Kevin Owens thinks Shane counted too quick or some... There's going to be interactions between all three of them. Yeah. Individually and I together. I that Shane is involved in this I agree. match. And it's going to lead to Shane and Kevin Owens going forward. Yep. Uh, big Show versus Big Cass. Cass. Me too. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Sorry, Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship. Uh, Shinsuke uh, Nakamura. Uh, we are in agreement. It's time. I, I, not only is it time, I think... Um, Jinder's served his purpose. He's he's done a good job. He's evolved. This could help him even more. Um, I did see a thing. Of course, it was just him saying that he wanted to hold the belt until forever. Well, yeah, but he wanted to hold it until they did have it set to where he could have the belt and defend it, or have a match in India. So that was him saying that, not WWE, though. Right. So, Well, yeah, so he'd want to win that match, and then he could be okay with losing it. Yeah. So why not just wait, take the belt off of him, and then once they do go back to India at a house show, let him win it, same style that AJ did over Kevin Owens, and then he can lose it, like, the next Tuesday in the rematch. Something. Either way, I'm still picking Shinsuke. Me too. Uh, so Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns. I'm picking Brock. I'll save you. The- I know you are, and it's a smart, smart choice. And I am, for the sake of, I don't know what, I'm picking Joe. All right. I'm picking it because I think by having Brock lose, <sighs> they've already said that they want the belt to be on TV more often. Keep it in on Brock. Which it has not, been. Yeah, only because he was scheduled to because they knew it was gonna he was gonna have the Survivor Series match. Right. And he's scheduled for some more appearances leading and no up mercy. to no mercy. I'm saying by if, if by having Joe win it the thing is by having Joe win it and what I'm saying is gonna make Paul a hypocrite. Or not a hypocrite, basically falsifying what he said that they were going to leave I just feel like by having Joe win it it can forward like a whole bunch of things so you think Lesnar doesn't leave but still loses yep okay I don't have a reason why who you're you're who's who, going to eat the pin yeah eats the pin or, or gets submitted because it's it, it it can't be Brock it can't be Brock obviously it's not going to be Roman it could be just because it, they can find a way. Like, Brock shouldn't at all. But they can find a way for the other two, other Braun or Roman, to make it work. Where one of them or both of them have literally just been beat the hell out of by one or two other people. And it's still sold as them being strong. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm view, The only way that... Any of the other three could be the one that eat the pin is if Braun wins. If, uh, or if Brock wins, the other, either of the other three could eat the pin. Um, so what did that, that, that Bro- it, Brock win and his pin will be on Braun? Because if Roman wins, the only person that he should be pinning is Braun. Is Braun, but it still doesn't make sense with the way you're booking Braun. That's what I'm saying. You have so many options. So you'd have with it to being be, a, with it being be a, Joe, with it being a fatal four way, you have so many ways to get around somebody eating a pin and it looking bad. You know yeah. what I mean? The only problem is if Brock loses, a he's going to get the rematch. So he's no mercy. Clearly not leaving anyway, and B, you could start a feud with whoever was that ate the pin because yeah. Lesnar could be mad that they lost him the title. Yeah. Um, well, no, so I was also saying, cause what what was it that that there was something that Paul said two weeks ago, 
crap, I can't remember what it was that he said. Oh, he, he basically he's he basically alluded to this match was set up purposely so Brock would lose. Right. Like he was literally implying that they're trying to find a way to get the belt off of him. Yeah. Which is true. It, that, Which I, mean, I know that's Paul being Paul. That's as shoot that's as close to a shoot as you can get without getting in trouble. <laughs> um You're gonna be right. I'm just wanna be different and so going why not off, why not pick Brock? Because I'd rather take the, 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 the chance on this one of me being right and being like ha ha and this is the one where I'm strictly picking based on what I want. But this is predictions. Yeah, I'm predicting what I want. I mix in a fantasy booking in it as well. I mean, technically, the smart bet would be if we could just vote either Brock or the field. The smart bet would be the field because it's seventy-five percent to twenty-five percent. Right. That's what I'm saying. They have so many ways where they can go. If Paul didn't say what he did, I mean, if they were faces, it would be different too. Because Paul could just be like, "Yeah, I said what I said. It doesn't matter. We're now going to just beat the crap out of everybody." Yeah. Um. All right, so I'm going to put an asterisk next to yours. And then the light goes out, and Undertaker's music hits, and then Roman's not even in the ring anymore. And... Yeah, but no. Because then what are you going to, like, are you going to set up... So, all right, say that happens, but, I mean, Brock would... Or Joe, I don't know. Brock would win. Say Brock wins. And he goes and sets up a feud with Braun because Joe's supposed to feud with Cena, presumably. Uh, and then Roman has nothing. Are you going to do a Roman versus Undertaker thing? And when I say you, I don't mean you. I mean WWE because, A, I don't think he's ready to come back. No, nah, he had hip surgery. And- B, although Mick Foley's been wrestling. Sort of. He, well, he took a bump. Which yeah. is more than he had been doing. It was terrible. It was stupid. Mm-hmm. It was a crotch suplex. Yeah. People in are Saco. in love with Joey Ryan and his... Dickplex? Yeah. yeah. I think it's stupid. Oh, I it's actually retarded. agree with Jim Cornette. It's... it's. If it wasn't done for... Like, if he, if he was a gimmick uh, comedy wrestler... Yeah. It would be fine. Right. But that to like literally just be the the thing, it's it's ridiculous to me. Yeah. At least with Candice LeRae and her uh, dick flips, it actually looks like a wrestling move. She just happens to grab the person by the crotch to do it. The other one I don't like is, what's his name, Thunder Liger? <laughs> or squeezes their hand in his butt? It's, I don't get it. Well, Either the way. The PWG one? Yeah. I laughed so hard at that. You know why that came about? Is... Champa and Chuck Taylor had a match, and Chuck Taylor other accidentally fell onto Champa's hand and got a thumb in the butt. So they started making fun of it, and that's where that came about. All right. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of tough guys that were in that that match. Uh, Alistair Black. Well, that's when he was. Yeah. Tommy N. Tommy N. Uh, so. Yeah, thumb, I don't thumb in the bum. I mean, I like if if the lights were to go out at at, at uh, SummerSlam, and you hear the Undertaker's gong, Boom. right, or just the even the music, yeah, something, I would probably lose my mind, <laughs> but still, it makes no sense because even when he is ready to come back, why have him fight Roman again? Because you know Roman's gonna win. What if it's I mean, if he fights anybody, Taker's going to lose because it's going to be his final match. And he is the consummate professional. So if he's going out, he's going out on his back. Yeah. It makes no sense to have him come back. Oh, no, it doesn't. And if it did, it would ultimately you'd think it would be against Cena. Right. You'd think it would be against Cena or Finn or, or somebody else. Yeah. Besides Roman, because Roman already already beat him. The only thing I could think of, which... I mean, you could have it where he just costs Roman the match, and then Roman's pissed, and it was literally that was... Have that as Undertaker's 
revenge. I don't need a match. I cost you it. Right. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Undertaker. I mean, this would be a perfect time for Kane to come back and avenge his brother. I'm still saying that that needs to be what that'd happens. It'd be, be a great idea. Imagine, middle of this fatal four way. You think he's been working out or getting Mayor Dad Bod? He's <laughs> probably been getting Mayor Dad Bod. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? The other yeah. things that we didn't address, are they going to do anything with Brazango? Depends on how you look at it. They said on SmackDown they were going to return in two weeks, but right. that also didn't say that they weren't going to have at least a segment. Because I thought we were supposed to find out at SummerSlam. We were. So that's what makes me wonder if they don't even, they haven't decided yet who the people are that or- originally attacked them. Probably. Or they're waiting on something else for the who their original one was to be available, per se. And also, Gold Dust. Oh, yeah, because he said something about... Yeah. That's just going to be a segment, I bet. He's, or he's going to interrupt a match, which I don't see, but... What if he interrupted the Miz and the Taraj match and used the Miz as his next... It would be heel-heel, but either way, it would make the most sense, because... Or he, well, he, he helps him. Because he's all about film and everything. Yeah, and but wouldn't for his character wouldn't it make sense for him to not appreciate it? Like him be like you're stepping on my turf type type deal? Maybe. Maybe. Um So I don't know. I mean it's the hard thing with these predictions that we do is that WWE is constantly changing right up until the last minute. Yeah. And adding things and taking things away. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just say a gold dust appearance. I predict yes. Yeah, he'll at least have at least a video package. Right. And uh, the same with pro- possibly with Breezango at least having a, a segment. If they wouldn't have said they weren't they were going to be back in two weeks on SmackDown, I would have like right. for sure said they were going to be. At- I like how it originally said twenty five years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. I know they've already done a Law and Order type. Yeah. Um, I wonder what I'm trying to think of what other shows they could they could do. They could do a NYPD Blue. They could do a CSI type one. Yeah, CSI New York is what like that would be. Yeah. That would make most sense. The and most being sense. in New York. Yeah. Uh, I have a guest guest appearance from uh, Christopher Maloney. As long as he goes and pets his sweaters. <laughs> um, I don't know. All right, so those are our predictions. We both agree on Tazawa. We both agree on Jeff, uh, Jason Jordan and the Hardy Boys. We both agree on Naomi. We both agree on Finn, Baron, Dean and Seth, Rusev, AJ, Shinsuke, and Cass. Sorry, that's way out of order from what we went, but that's how I have it written. Uh, and we differ on... The Fatal 4-Way, technically. The Fatal 4-Way. You put an asterisk on my why just because I said... Because you, know. you, you think that Brock's going <laughs> to win, but you want Joe to win. So I put an asterisk there. So if, uh, if, if Brock wins, you get half a point. How about a quarter of a point? All right. And if Joe wins, you get... All of it. A half. point and a quarter. I get... No, I get three quarters. So you get the full point. Okay. Um, we disagree on Usos and New Day. I say Usos, you say New Day. I agree with you. I just... Ugh. And uh, I, I say this. Sasha. I hate it. Alexa. I mean, it, I'm glad we disagree somewhat because... At least one of us going to get something right. Right. Because the last... Except for the Fatal 4-Way if they swerve us and it is Roman or Braun. Braun <sighs> imagine Braun, dude. That would actually be awesome. I mean, if... If Brock's supposed to feud with Braun and fight at no mercy... Him winning would make... And then you think your guess would be that Braun would take the belt off of Brock at no mercy. Mm -hmm. Then there would be a rematch from there. It would make sense for Braun to win at SummerSlam and then win the rematch at no mercy. No, it's a fatal four-way match, but that's it's just a regular match, right? Right. Well, I mean, there's no DQ. Oh, there isn't. In a fatal four-way. Okay, that was what my question was. Yeah. There's no DQ. I might have to change this to Braun. Because that you, actually... I have an asterisk to mine. You want one for yours? To be fair? Yeah. You go with Braun as your asterisk? Yeah. We want to have another one than if Roman wins? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We picked everybody. Uh, 
All right, so I say Braun. Do I get anything if Undertaker's music at least hits? I mean... I'm not saying it well. I'm just... What, do you want a hug? You want a hug? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, because I don't... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I agree that it... it I agree that I, I think it would be cool if it happened. I don't think it will. I don't either. I really, I legit think he's just there to visit with his doctors, and yeah, then he, is just going to hang out with some peeps. Well, he probably his doctor's point probably isn't even until Monday, right? And he's probably just going to be backstage and shooting the he's probably shot. he's probably more likely to be checking out NXT to yeah. meet with some of the newer Dude, guys. Wouldn't that be cool if he see him ringside NXT? He's yeah. with Adam Cole, Undertaker, baby. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, those are our predictions. We're probably wrong. Give us yours. Uh, or don't. But give us yours. Right. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Social medias, whatever. Deuces. Yee yee! <laughs>